Four days after provoking debate about his comic's most, probably most notorious uh, strip, Penny Arcade's Mike Rahulik offered an explanation for his position on the Dick Wolves incident and what happened after it. He expressed a lot of regret trying to offer an olive branch. Um, I kind of feel bad for him. Yes, I mean, the, the, the you shouldn't make rape jokes argument is uh, nothing new. No, it's, we've we've yeah. seen tons and tons of comedians and you know comic artists you know come under fire for that sort but of thing. But it's been going on for years. I think this has been going on for so long because well, first he they made it. It was kind of like you know a throwaway joke. They didn't think it was going to turn into anything big. Then uh, there was some response, and in response they made another comic, which uh, kept the controversy going, followed by more tweets to people on their Twitter accounts putting out the Dick Wolves merch, pulling the Dick Wolves merch. If you're looking for the original source, you have to go all the way back to uh, August 11th, 2010 That's to find so that strip. And then you could see what seems like a long, unending string Twitter battle after that. Mm -hmm. um, right after that strip came out, there was a strip addressing that strip. Yes. And um, Mike says that, that second strip is really what he he, um, regrets he the regrets most doing it. from the yeah. whole thing. It was a knee-jerk reaction, and I understand that. To be fair, the first time I read the first strip, I laughed. I thought it was funny. Yeah, I mean, it's easy for us to do in our point of view. Neither of us has been raped that I know of, but it, it's, it might be, you know, there's something called a trigger for, for victims, and if they, if they see it, like, you see, and see something seemingly innocuous, like a comic, you know, it, it, it is a source of hurt and a source of pain, and it's hard for people on the outside of that to realize that. What, what drives me crazy is people say, get over it. Get over it to victims, and it's just like That's your... That's sort of how the second strip yeah, rang, and I d which is why they regret it. I would regret it too, because you don't know how that person feels as a victim. Like, when people say, get over your problems with persecution to your gender, your race, your orientation, your socioeconomic status. When people say get over it, it pisses me the fuck off because it's you do not understand what it is to live with that. You do not understand how it is to be a victim. Until you have that level of empathy, you can't say get over it. I mean, I'm probably going on a personal rant here. I definitely am. But should is my least favorite word because it, it, it Im implies that someone else knows what is best for everyone else. And that is not true. The, um, the other side of that coin is that there are, what, six billion people in the world? Mm -hmm. Like, some, everything is a trigger for somebody. Yes, so you that don't wanna, is fair too. You don't wanna say, oh, we can't make this joke, it might be a trigger for someone, oh, we can't make this joke, it might be a trigger for someone. You just kinda roll the dice and hope that, you know, mm -hmm. either that person doesn't see it or that person is okay with it or those people kinda don't make a giant internet riot about it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's... No, that's also fair because we also don't wanna suppress comedy. comedy kind of at its essence makes people, takes people a little bit out of their comfort zone, right? Yes. So on, the, on that same note, that, also, that argument also makes sense. So it's knowing, I guess, where to draw the line. Should yeah. there be a line? Everybody gets offended at a different level. Yeah. And you, you can't, you can't uh, adjust your way of life to the very lowest common I mean, I've certainly made that mistake too, where I said something that I thought was innocuous, and it upset people. And, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't Could realize what I was again? doing. No, those clips don't exist because I'm just kidding about that. And, no, but that, on that level, I do feel kind of bad for them because it seems like, yes, I do regret this. And then I've seen people say, like, I'm never going to another PAX again because of this. And I feel like PAX is good. Saying that they perpetuate rape culture, I think, is a bit of a stretch. They are... Um, in essence, comedians, mm -hmm. they, they make a create a funny product, comic. and you know, not all of their jokes are home runs, but I mean... That's just the way it is. That's how comedy works. Sometimes comedy does not work. Yeah. It works sometimes by not working. Yeah. I don't know. Will this ever be over? This is I three, feel like, like... The internet doesn't have a three-year-old memory. Well, the why reason why we're happen? talking about this now is because he addressed it on the Penny Arcade blog. Uh, after, you know, all this time of kind of not officially addressing it, uh, you know, to unspecific replies on Twitter, in the, the comic, which can be taken as a joke, not as an earnest uh, explanation. So and is he, he keeping this alive or is it the internet? 
both. Okay. Both. I mean, you, you don't. You you could go with the best of intentions, and it won't land on the internet. I know this also for a fact. So I don't. I don't know. I wish. I don't know if it's gonna end. I feel like he's trying to make it end. Sometimes he's not, though. Some well before. Now he's trying. Yeah, you're right. Before, not so much. But I don't know. Can can the internet accept apologies? I don't know. The internet. I'm Do sorry. you accept the apology, or were you never mad to begin with? Huh? Comments. <laughs>